What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of the Bad Podcast. Brad and Wayne. Brad, brother, you got a quote this time. What you got, man? <laughs> limits, <laughs> limits, 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 limits. We're going to talk about limits today. I got one from the GOAT, Albert Einstein. Once Ooh. we accept our limits, we go beyond them. Mm, I like that, brother. I like that. <laughs> he said the GOAT, Albert Einstein. That's fire. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Hey, good job, guys. Good job. Mental battles. Mental battles. Hey, man. Eat some for life, baby. What it look like, what it be like, what it do. Back in the building, my brother Brad, man, super excited, man. And B, I'm actually in the studio this week, uh, but I'm not in the setting that I like to be. I'm not on the comfortable couches <laughs> yeah. because we got other stuff going on, man. So we kind of got to set up down here, man. But uh, super excited to get behind the microphone with your brother. We're actually earlier in the week than we normally record, <laughs> man. Uh, uh, we, we, we we got this. We finally got this set scheduled. Then we start getting a little haywire, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're all for three in the last three weeks. Oh, for three. <laughs> No, it's all good, man. But you know, it, it, it we are in a place where we can we can we yeah. can we can shift and, and it still makes sense, man. It yeah. still don't don't hurt us, man. So yes. super excited about this topic, man, and limits, man, because uh, you know, just just thinking about in the scope of the program, you know, this being week five and and uh people, you know, doing stuff they never done before, man. And you know, they get into week five and they like thinking they reached their limit, man. So let's get into it, B. Yeah. And the reason I want to talk about limits today is because yesterday, uh actually, well, now that we're we're talking about this, it would be last week. Uh I did one of the circuits with the ladies. And before I started, push-ups was on the on the on the on the schedule, right? And, mm -hmm. and before I started that, I had a I had a number in my mind of what I wanted to do in that, in that 60 seconds. And I had a number of 35. I wanted to do 35 push-ups in that 60 seconds. So when I did my 35 push-ups, I started to automatically fatigue. Miraculously, I was starting to tire out as soon as I hit that 35 number. And I started to think to myself, why did I even put, why did I pick 35? Was that a, was that a past expectation? Right. Was that something that I had done in the past? Like 35, was that something that I had hit before and, and just accepted the fact that, hey, 35 is where I'm at. That's my limit, right? Mm. Um, so, so the second round, I got back to it and I thought, okay, I'm not going to set no number. I'm not going to set a number on what I can and cannot do. I'm not going to place a limit on me. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to tap in. I'm going to max out. I'm going to go all in. I didn't set a limit. I didn't set any expectation for myself. I just wanted to tap in and max out. And I think this is where a lot of us go right or go wrong. If we right. set our limits, we're going to hit our limits and we're going to stay below our limits. But if we don't set an expectation for ourselves, whether it's external or internal, we're going to hit our limit and then we're going to exceed our limit that's the part of the tap and max out mentality so round two rolls up right i did 30 i did 37 push-ups my first round mm -hmm. my, my second round i did 65 push-ups I, I, I almost I, I almost doubled i almost doubled what i just i i did double what i did the first time yeah. why because I didn't place that hold on what I thought I was capable of doing and I think wow. like I said right from the beginning right from the get-go as soon as we place that limit it's in the back of our minds. This is how far I can go. And this mm -hmm. is I can no longer I can no longer further um, exceed that limit, that 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 glass ceiling. Man, mm -hmm. glass ceilings were meant to be broken, and that's what we're talking about today. Wow, wow. Yeah, I've never done 60 uh push-ups in the circuit just so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it, I don't know if there's a, it's a I don't know if there's a limit thing there, B. Like I don't <laughs> No, that's that's so fire, man, because um, like you said, once you place it there, it, it's almost like you put the mental stop point uh, there, man. And uh, and it reminds me of, uh, you know, another goat. We always like to quote the goats, man, uh, where Michael Jordan, when he would train, his trainer said that whatever rep set that he gave him, Mike would always do one or two more, yeah, yeah. like every single time. And uh, and 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 I'm thinking about me, man. I'm like, OK, 15, like we're mm -hmm. I'm. I'm hitting it, <laughs> you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, I hit that 15. I, I'm 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 happy with, with that, man. But but it, it goes back to like you said, it's a mentality, man, and uh, and 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 seeing and making the line. But 
like you said, it's two two ways it could be taken. Like sometimes that line is there to strive towards. Right. You know, sometimes it's it's great to strive towards that line and 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 uh you know, but but once you get there, don't stop there, right. you know. Yeah. And, and 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 it's funny because I know that that you know felt fatigue feeling you got you know you hit <laughs> like uh, you know do I, I hit my number do I really want to push for more man so so I can relate to that so much man and and I think that uh, I mean I, I, no, I think I know a lot of people fall short of their potential because of the limit that ooh be check this out because of the limit <laughs> somebody else put ooh. Boom. Uh, look, we, we didn't even have notes. We just had titles. I know this right in line. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead. <laughs> nah. No, and, and I was just going to say, where are limitations born? There's two places limitations are born. The limits that we place on ourselves mm -hmm. for past experience, past success, or mm -hmm. past failure. That's, that's one of the first things. that That's the reason that we place limits on what we can do and what we can accomplish. And the second right. thing, you said that external influence we allow these things to dictate what we can do today and yes. i always say man i always say this um the only thing that's worse than past failure is past success like at one point 35 push-ups for me in one minute like that was a win that was a mm -hmm. victory for me man mm -hmm. that was that was huge and i allowed that success to sort of shackle me to that success like 35 okay i'm held to 35 like that's that's what i know i can do that's my limit i can't go any further than that also like you said external influence at some at some point in my life i i, I told a teacher i told a coach hey i want to do this with my life and they tell right. you uh that's that's for the cream of the crop that's that's for the, <laughs> that's, that's for the next level i want to be an right. astronaut. uh that's that's not for you bradley i want i want to be i want to be uh, financially stable uh, that's not for you, Bradley. I want to do this and I want to do that. And and we're controlled by what people in our lives tell us. Man, quiet that noise. Quiet that noise. Man, external external influence, man. Quiet that noise and cut it out. Yeah, no, hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. Like, and, and it's it's wild because everybody that's in those places that made those, you know, those achievements, they had someone tell them they couldn't do it. Yes. You know, it is rare that you find somebody that that made that kind of achievement that, that like you said, that that became the cream of the crop. Yeah. You know, they weren't made the cream. of the, They became it, man, because they didn't listen to the people telling them that they couldn't mm -hmm. do it. You know, uh, I think about, uh, you know, it depends on which time you're talking about him. But Kanye West, man, like, yeah. you know, he yeah. talked about how his mom told him he could do anything, you know. And then once he got into the industry, nobody took him serious. Right. You know, everybody told him no. Even Jay Z, like Jay Z, mm -hmm. couldn't get a record deal. You know, it was like he they shopped him around everywhere, and then you know, instead of taking that no, instead of taking that outside limitation, mm -hmm. continued to push towards uh, what, what they wanted, man. So, right. you know, it, it's it's really one of those things, man. Um, when it comes to the outside noise, and it's it's tougher when it's when it's family, man. That's that's when it's tough. You know, I know we talked about this, you know, a couple of times. Just yeah. you know, it's tougher when you know, when it's mom or dad saying you can't you can't do something, or or they don't believe you can do something, or they they're leery of, and, and really, you know, and where that place come from is actually love because yeah. they don't want to see you hurt. Sure, you know yeah. that it, it it comes from a place of love because they don't they don't want your failure to crush you, mm -hmm. you know. They, cause, cause it may have happened to them, you know, not knowing that what they're doing is, is hindering you, man. So I, I see you smile. I know you got yeah. something to add on that. <laughs> well, I, I do have something to add on that. And I think, I think what happens is, is maybe it's a past generation thing or mm. whatever it may be. But what happens is a lot of people don't recognize failure as part of the process. A lot of people mm. recognize failure as something like heartbreak, you know, yeah. failure, failure is associated with heartbreak where failure should be a, a stepping stone. Like, okay, I just got knocked down to my face. A lot of times in the past, people would have just stayed down there and said, you know, it's a lot easier down here. I ain't going to get crushed <laughs> down here. I'm, I'm here. I'm going to stay here. Right. <laughs> but, but, you know, once we rise to our feet, we, we have to expect another blow. We're going to get hit again. Yeah. We're going to get hit again. We're going to get hit again until we don't. And and I always like talking about Tom Brady. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's a hate love relationship. I say hate first because I, you know, I grew up a Buffalo Bills fan right, and he right. just 
and he just shattered our dreams for 25 years or however long it was. I don't know. But Tom Brady went to 10 Super Bowls. There's mm. franchises that haven't been to 10 playoffs, <laughs> let alone 10 Super Bowls. He's won seven Super Bowls. There's people, there's teams that haven't been to, to seven Super Bowls, and he's won crazy. seven rings. But when you mention Tom Brady's name, we think of the accolades. We think of That's the true. rings. We think of the MVPs. We think of all, all these highlights. We don't think we don't think about when Tom Brady was in high school and he was the backup on a zero mm. and nine high school football team. Zero and nine, Dwayne. Woo. He was the backup. He couldn't even get on the field. And then when he went to Michigan, he was the backup for a mediocre at best college <laughs> football team. And then when he went to New England. He was the fourth string quarterback. All right. Mm. NF NFL teams don't keep four quarterbacks. Right. New, Eng New England saw the work ethic. New England saw that this guy had something special to offer their team. Now, when you and I think Tom Brady, again, we think highlights, but we don't sure. think about all these, all these stepping stones, all these times that he had failed in his life. And and here's here's the here's the problem with with thinking about Tom Brady, you know what you know what the the, the society's issue is with people like Tom Brady when, and with people that want to try to take their game to the next level is people want to pull those type of people down. They want to pull yeah. them back because they can't accept the fact that hey, somebody's going above and beyond. Somebody's working harder than me. People mm. don't like seeing people outwork work them. And, wow. and then when you start to see that success, Tom Brady with the 10 Super Bowls, we don't like to see that success. Well, wait, 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 wait. Tom Brady cheated. Tom Brady, Tom Brady had the referees in his – yeah. Well, Tom Brady had the referees in his pocket. Tom Brady did this. Tom Brady did that. Listen, I, I don't care. I don't care how many uh, I don't know. I don't care how many tic-tac-toes have to fall into place and, and how many people have to do this and how many people have to do that. Like – the, the Tetris pizzas, they fall into place because of the things that he does behind the scenes, behind the curtains. Man, mm -hmm. I don't care what you do. You still got to go out there and play the best defenses in the National Football League. You have to go out there and complete the passes. You mm -hmm. have to prep, prep, repeat in every facet of life to get you to that stage. And that's yep. what Tom Brady did for several years. Again, we, we have these limits, right? We have these limits. First of all, my limit, my mental limit, I can't get on Tom Brady's level because right. when I experience the type of failure that he experienced, I'm, I'm pulling back. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling back a little bit. You know, I, I, I've, I've been told my entire life. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, and can't and continue to prove people wrong. Mm -hmm. and, and again, you know, it comes back to limits. People place limits on me. I place limits on myself. And that's just, that's the, that's the norm. And we need to break somehow break through that boundary. Yeah, man. No, that's, that's crazy, man. And, and I, I'm with you. I, I think I have a hate, hate relationship with Tom Brady. Uh, we all I'm do. a Colts fan, man. I'm a, you know, yeah, I'm a, I'm a New England Colts fan and uh, I'm a New England Colts. I mean, that was Colts fan. <laughs> I, I almost cussed on live. We ain't, this ain't ready. This ain't, <laughs> ain't ready. Man, keep ain't keep ready. a PG over there doing PG, PG. But no, um, but yeah, but you, like you said, you cannot deny the work ethic. You cannot deny the mm -mm. path he took, man, to get mm -hmm. there. Um, you know, like it just it surpasses hate, man. When you yeah. talk about like this, I didn't know about the high school team was zero and nine. Like yeah. that's. I had no idea about it. that's new stat for me, man. But I knew about you know Michigan. I knew about you know being drafted and all of that stuff, man. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's just one of those things, man. That um, you know seeing that uh, inspires us, man. We could do the very same thing on our level, on in in our playing field. It might we not might not be winning Super Bowl rings, but you know we can conquer the day, man. We yeah. can finish a week. You know we can do you know sixty pushups. We could do you know we can do things. Uh, that that pushed the limit on our side as well, man. And we can use people like Tom Brady uh, to, to inspire us, man, to, to let us know that that, that can be done, man. So, uh, no, I, I, I love I love this topic, man, because I think it's really going to help a lot of people um, just just take it to the next level, man. And and we're always trying to push them and, and motivate them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that boils down to preparation, you know, like sure. <clears throat> when, I, when I'm talking content on one of my lives or if I'm talking content on this podcast or whatever I'm, I'm talking content, you know, it, it's all about that, that, that preparation and, and then putting that stuff into your body, putting that stuff into your in your brain and, and just just being acknowledged as, as far as what's going to get you to that next level. Like for right. me, like I, I don't just hop on one of my live workouts and just, you know, off the cusp of my of my, of my tongue and say, hey, 
uh, do this, 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 and this. I'm, I'm reading, man. I'm, I'm reading. I'm listening to, to podcasts. I'm, I'm, yep. I'm listening to different mo- motivational pieces, inspirational. That's right. all that preparation. You know, Brady, mm-hmm. Brady didn't walk on the field Super Bowl Sunday and say, hey, you know what? I feel like winning a Super Bowl today. <laughs> that Super Bowl wasn't won in January or February. That Super Bowl was won back in August, yes. September, October, November, in December. It's yes. all about preparing yourself for, for life's, uh, life's big uh, climbs. I guess you can say, uh, you know, we're all trying to reach the paramount of, of, of whatever journey that we're on. You know, ours is our, our focus is fitness, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I would like to think of this podcast as not just fitness, but as growth in general. Mm. And, and, and it's so relatable across the board. You know, it, sure. it, they're both hard. They're both difficult to achieve. And, and you know, a, a, the further that we climb, the steeper the climb is. And the, and, the, and the closer that we get to narrowing in on that target. And that target shrinks. You know, I one of the common questions is, hey, I, I plateaued. I got five pounds to go and I plateaued. And get rid of the get rid of the word plateau out of your vocabulary. Please, 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 please. get rid of that word. Okay. Please. You want to you want to break a plateau? Pick up your game. That's go a it. little harder. Go That's a little it. further. There's That's a it. plateau. Listen. Right, right. No right. plateau. All right, just work a little harder, man. <laughs> Sorry. No, I love it, man. I, I feel I feel the same disgust when people say they plateau. I'm like, bro, like that, that is no such thing. Yeah. Like, what is the plateau? Right. You know, like I don't I don't even it don't make sense to me, man. Like all you have to do is up your weight, up your rep, whatever, and you're gonna keep growing. You know. Um, so yeah. yeah, look, I'm in the studio. Whitney yeah. came in here hollering. Yeah. Y'all Dang. came. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I'm, I know we have to wrap this up, and I know, man, we're, we're rushing off of these podcasts, and, and I apologize <laughs> to any 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 listeners. But there is a few things that I want to say, and you know, you talk about upping the weight or upping the the reps or whatever. What up, Wit? If you can't hear me, what up? What up? What up? What up? Um, but you you talk about progressive overload. That's that's yes. a, that's a fitness term. Yeah. progressive overload is something that you can apply to your life. I always like to use this example. I, I'm always trying to fill my brain with knowledge. Mm-hmm. I can't read the same Dr. Seuss book that I was at three years old. I can't read that That's book. All right. Boom. Okay. Boom. I'm not reading Dr. Seuss anymore. All right? I'm, 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 I'm upping my content. That's progressive overload. And that's that's how you have to do it. You have to increase your material, your content. You have to increase your weight. You have to, yeah. you have to push those boundaries, exceed mm. your limitations. All right? Are you doing the same thing you were yesterday? Yeah, you probably will hit that plateau. Tom right. Brady at 43 years old was not doing the same things he was at 23 years old. Progressive right overload keep Great hitting point. that limitation keep hitting that line of limit and then take a step across yep. take a step across that's that's why tom brady is the goat don't anybody don't anybody don't anybody question that and don't anybody come at me with that because he is the goat 10 super bowl seven super bowl wins i don't like the guy on the football field but i like what he's done with his with his life because that's 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 what we all strive to achieve you know in in the grand scheme of things man we we want to be the best of the best at everything and anything that we do so that's all i got to say about that <laughs> hey that's a, that's a mic dropper right there yeah. man and so <laughs> Because we didn't give it to the folks last week, we got to do it this time, man. So let's get it. Do you know? All right, guys, this is my turn on the Do You Know Fun Fact. Uh, and so this is a, a it's a cool one, man. Um, you know, I went to a small high school. Um, and my Do You Know Fact about me is I was the only senior to uh, play, start, and letter in uh, three sports. We only Ooh. had sp- we only had three sports, so I wow. mean we had four, but you know, but I was the only senior to do so, man. Football, basketball, and uh, and I ran track, man. So that's hey, the you're, do you know moment about me. You're a track star, Dwayne. I need you to meet me on the asphalt and write a five k with me. That is a negative. So all right, guys, <laughs> we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, until next time, man. We appreciate you guys tuning in to the Bad Podcast. Make sure you tell your friends, your family, screenshot your player, take a selfie with your YouTube uh on your TV, all the stuff, man, and tag us in your stories. Until next time, man. We're out of here. Peace out. Yeah.